today. Bill and I are doing a bit of fishing at this uh, new hunters and anglers club that we just recently joined. Yeah, that time you might hear a boom out there. They're shooting a bit today. They're doing a bit of trap, but we're doing a bit of fishing, ice fishing. And uh, there's some, what do we got in here? Rainbow brown speckles, brown trouts, all about uh, I don't know, seven, eight inches long, whatever. It is a stocked pond, this one. There's another pond over there that's stocked. We're going to dunk you guys in the water, though, and uh, hopefully, I don't know, we're kind of far apart here. It might be too dark down there, too. I don't know, but whenever he catches one here, we're trying to get it the strike on down there, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. And uh, the camera here doesn't leak, because that would suck. All right, you ready? Okay, so I'm going to have to probably flip the camera thing upside down. dunk you down here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, 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 don't let him get back in. No, stay out. We're taking you home for a neighbor. She likes fish. We don't. But anyways, we like catching them, not eating them. A nice speckled, eh? Rainbow, you sure? It's got speckles on them. Well, that's what we gotta learn here. Anyways, we're gonna go down and see if we can make some bubbles here. And I already see my uh, battery pack on the hump pack. is already gone. <laughs> so this might not last too long. We'll try to get as much as we can here, but uh, I think the GoPro has had better days. Okay, we're going to try again. way I'm orientated either down there so I don't know what I'm shooting or what I'm filming but I won't know until I see it so anyway let's just back down I guess
I don't think the uh, fish like the GoPro down the hole, so we're just gonna <laughs> capture some footage. Oh, now the hump packs it, it's fine. Oh my gosh, I don't know. This is a Hero 4. I'm up to like, what, 50 now? Hero 50 or something? 10, isn't it? 11? Oh god, it's ridiculous. Like $700. That's what this thing was when I first got it. It was like 650 bucks or something. It's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna leave the GoPro out of the hole, I think, and uh, just kind of capture some stuff as he yanks out. That guy's pretty well frozen dead. <laughs> it's freaking cold out here. Yeah, he's got a little bit of getting stiff now though. Alright, he's gonna try my rod because you know my rod's awesome. Yeah. I just dunno honestly didn't really feel like fishing today. I was gonna uh, film you guys a little something here and and we're at a hole someone else used today so that's why all the pretzels are it's not our stuff so we just claimed their hole. I think they must have had a big tent out here because it's all like melted all around so it was all heated probably. Suckers eh set it here and freeze. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if he can snap one here. Uh, so my sister's quite a big member out here too. She's been here for quite a few years. Uh, my dad, who's passed away when I was five, was a member here too. And my grandfather was a member here too. So um, my stepdad, who's still alive, was, is, was a member here too. Uh, not anymore. They're all past members now, but... We're now members here, so my sister's a member, and oh man, she was mad that day we came out here a couple years ago and I outfished her. Oh, she did not like that. Oh, she did not like that. <laughs> These fish are strange, though. There's, I don't know, they they bite you and they just sit there. They don't pull or nothing. I mean, because it's so bloody cold, there's no fight to them. So weird. You just kind of, oh yeah, I do have a fish on. What the heck? Yeah, so. Pretty cold out here. They got a nice little log cabin, as you can see. Way over. It's got a nice uh, fireplace in it and stuff, and uh, we're allowed to use all that. And you know, this is all the camping area all over here. All the way over to here is like where you can back your trailer in. There's this pond, and there's like a oh, sunfish. <laughs> there's like a berm thing that they put in the middle to separate the two, and. Uh, this is the winter fishing here kind of thing because it's not quite as deep, but over there's like 40 feet. So we'll take you around uh, when it's a bit warmer out here. But anyways, they do have camping here, so you can, you know, stay out of here as long as you want. You pay your yearly membership and you know, basically free run of the place. There's um, trails to walk on and uh, my sister's into the, into the, well, she's the chairman of the forestry. So I'm going to see if I get in with her so I can, you know, cut some trees down and stuff. And, I was looking in there in a camping area the other day, and there was uh, about three of those pine trees that were quite dead, so we got to come down before the campers get in. But they said 128 acres or something here. 126 acres, so it's quite a bit, yeah. And uh, we're kind of, this is the north end of it here, and it's all down there to the next side road kind of thing. So it's pretty sweet. Place here. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Nothing. Man. Yeah. I might have stirred some stuff up there. I have no idea what was down there, but I guess I'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> so you're only allowed five of those day, so they can keep the numbers kind of, uh, you know. See, there's one on there. And you wouldn't even know. Ah, you stupid sunfish. Huh? Same one. <laughs> he brought his friend over. Oh man, there's other holes maybe over there. If you want to move to another hole, but or we can go get the drill out of the building and drill a new one. It's a hand drill, but we got a couple good holes here. It's gonna be all right. But uh, probably not gonna put the camera back down. I think it'd be just too dark down there. Come on, you only got a few spikes on them. They don't hurt for too long. I know. Uh oh. You got to kind of hold them because it's got a barb in there too, right? Panfish, they call those too. They're not probably good. They're I'm, I'm going to say they're a polluting, polluting, polluted fish, polluting fish. Because oh man, there's usually one. There's millions of them. Just, you need a, like a. There you go. Get back in there, you turd. <laughs> 
and he stole your world, you can just push that back down. Yeah, we might have to invest in a little building thing. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's cold out here. Yeah, a little sheltery thing. Oh, man. <laughs> Cold enough to start with today, and I'm sitting out here freezing more. Oh man! So we're about 10 feet, 12 maybe, deep here, ish, kind of thing. And uh, I think that's about the deepest. Got one already? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was the giant one. And my 100. Uh, holy smokes! Did you see that? That was cool. Oh, Dill! Gotta be gentle with him. He's gonna come back again. He sees it. Oh, now there's all those stupid floating things in there. He's gonna go after that. That was cool. I think I got that on film, too. Oh, yep. Oh, oh. oh they're hungry. He's uh, one old fella that came by here just to kind of see who we were. Because her new members are not quite sure of everybody yet. He's like, uh,. They didn't get on here till like the middle of January, so we're only the near the end of February now, and so they haven't really been out here long. So these fish are pretty bloody hungry, apparently. Oh, something on there. Or no, it was just going down. So yep, something on there. There you go. Ah. <laughs> still on there. Still on there. Oh, you can see it. These trout are bloody smart. Yeah, we need a big one. <sighs> bloody smart, but bloody stupid. <laughs> but if they're hungry, oh man, they're gonna go for it. Oh! Oh, that was a good one! Mm, was a good one. I only got a really small hook on there. And, uh, it's hard to get them to stay on that hook. I don't really want a huge hook on it. Especially for these stupid sunfish, right? The smaller hook, the better, because they usually try to swallow those bloody friggin' hooks right down to their... I swear you could get it, pull it right out the other end. <laughs> oh, he's on there. He's on there. I know my rod. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> a little dinky one. Aww. Actually, Chubb. He stole your bait. He's a little turd. Could use him for bait. You gotta bite him. <laughs> See, nice little hook though. So much easier. Come on, you're not gonna grab him. He doesn't have spikes on him. Ah, right, look out! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, bang! <laughs> Poor guy. He knocked his head off. Ah. Poor guy. I just gotta get to the box now. Oh. So we're gonna have to get like a kayak. I have a canoe at home, but canoes, sir. Yeah, I don't like canoes either much. Oh. I'm too old and fat. I hate wearing all these winter clothes just to try to keep warm. He'll rebait here, and then we'll send her down and catch the big feller. Okay, catch the monster. He's hungry. He's the only one I don't have to go down too far. They come up for it. That's how hungry they are. They're not picky right now, that's for sure. But yeah, they are weird. Like, a lot of times they just grab it and sit there. There's no running away with it, or... I guess because it's cold. They're like really dopey, maybe. Yeah. Got one. <laughs> you see the line move away? He took it away on you. Just smelling it, and he's like, Yeah, I want that. Come. One on there. <laughs> oh, there's a big feller. Oh, he is a big one. I don't think I've seen one that big here yet. Nice. Yeah, he's 
good size. Need some surgery. Just grab my hand. He's not gonna go nowhere. Ooh, he is a good size one. Some surgery on him. head off after. No, I didn't say that. We're going to have to clean him after for the neighbor and then uh, get the hook back, I guess. Is it way down there? How far down is it? Do you want to go? You had enough? Oh, it's way down. Yeah, okay. We'll have to get him out after. Poor guy. Huh? Give me the dangerous thing. warm up for a bit if you want. Not like stuff's gonna disappear here. We're all out here by ourselves. It's a flopper. Come here, floppy. Come here, floppy. Stay there with your friend. Ooh, yeah, he's a good size. Yeah. She'll like that. We're not fish people. We don't eat fish. Other than, like, maybe some halibut or some white fish or something, but not trout. I, oh, I can't stand that. Ugh. Tried it before. Nope. I'm just not a fish guy. So I guess you got to tie on a new thing, or are you just going to use your guy? Oh man, my nice little hook. You ate it, you turn. See, now when Dad told you you got a fish on, yeah. what should you have done? Should have reeled it in, because by that time he's gobbled it down to his gut. <laughs> well, of, of course you caught him when it's down in his stomach. You're not, he's not going to let go of that then. That's not kind of the uh, sort of idea. You know. So this would be fun trying a new hook on. We can go inside and warm up and tie a hook on if you want. Okay. Okay, we are warmed up a bit in that little nice warm building there. Going to rebait here. See if we can catch a couple more for her. Anywho, we've got to sign our fish out. Oh, man. Oh, Dill. Now you're good. Should have brought my big gloves. Up. These ones just aren't great. Over up here. Okay, here we go. He's just gonna right away. He's gonna like that new hook. Showing me nothing again. Oh, I'm almost out of battery. Okay, we might have to cut this short. That doesn't look too good. I don't know. This battery. I had it in my pocket and warm. Shut off. <laughs> now this battery's almost dead. Oh, there's a good one. Ooh, nice. Oh, he got himself off. Perfect. Okay, now apparently I have full battery. Got one, tricked you. Didn't take long, eh? Man, they're hungry. Wow. Well, we got three. We got two more we can catch, and then that's it. Daily five limit. Then they kind of keep an eye. You know, if something doesn't come fish like 30 out in a day, and no time the pond's emptied, right? Five a day, although I don't know how many people are doing that. <laughs> Not more, but anyway.
Caught them all. Looks like we got maybe 10 and 10 inches of ice here. Something like that. I'm kind of trying to see the rings from when someone cut this hole open. Stocked fish, though. I mean, it's all right, but it almost seems like you see that. It's like, is there someone on there? Yeah, there's one on there. <laughs> you almost think that this is like like cheating fishing because they stocked it. Like it's not, it's natural, but it's not kind of natural. You know what I mean? Like, you know, kind of, kind of fishy. <laughs> kind of fishy. Oh, did he swallow that one? Nope, front in his lip. That's good. You stole your bait. Nice. So if I was fishing too, we'd be long done by now. <laughs> That's the problem, you know. Let's let Dill come out and do some fishing. I'll do some filming, he'd do some fishing. Oh, poor guy laying right in the snow. All right, one more dilly and that's it. We're done. Yeah, you got, well, now this one's showing three batteries, but my little hump pack in the back showing three batteries looks like, like it's full. I don't know. Weird. Hero 4, though, this thing's getting pretty old. <laughs> it still works, except the batteries maybe won't eat up a little bit. Gonna need a new worm there, bud. Okay. Use one whole worm. Be nice, yeah. With no wind, this wind is brutal. All right, well, one more. That'll be it. Get a big one, Dilly. Good neighbor fed for the week or whatever. Not how much fish she eats, but she says she loves it. So okay, we'll catch them for you. We're not fishy people. No, you like tuna. Summertime comes, we'll go fish in that other pond. I'm gonna take you over there uh, someday. It's too cold right now to look at that stuff. But ah, oh, little dink! <laughs> look at him. Just put it back in. Something to eat him. <laughs> oh man, he's a tidy little one. I have caught one smaller than that though. Like, like probably was just hatched kind of thing. Spikes to you. Oh, there he goes. Oh, and he's good. <laughs> yeah. The bass are nice too because they got nice big spin, nice big fins. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they got good little guard things. You gotta start with them and go down like that and, and hold them. Don't move. Don't let your hand go up because then it'll reverse and spike you. Usually they can't flex flex those things out when you are holding them. Our uh, pond, well, our lake there has some good smallmouth bass, a little bit of largemouth in it too. I don't know if they're still there. That's a lot of years ago. I used to catch them. But. Come on, fishy freezing. <laughs> I want to go see the footage of how this was underneath here. Got one on.
yeah, you never know what you'll get out of him. wind would stay away. A little part of the country though they have a lot of wind generators up here so they got them up here for a reason. It's <laughs> a lot of wind. It's much nicer on a warm day. <laughs> We're in a hut. Yeah. Oh there's a good one. Sunfish. Oh he's gonna come back for it. Gonna come back for it. Gonna rub it out of the hole. That one come up up though. Oh yeah, I'm just holding it just like I am now. <laughs> I'll have to look at that later. Yeah. Oh, there's a good one. There's number five. Oh, that's a rainbow. Look at the colors on them. They stay still for a second or ten. Do -do 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 so we got bag. Gotta bag these up, and then we gotta go back in our little hut there. I'd take you in there too, but there's a guy in there that's been kind of drinking a bit and kind of. Uh, oh yeah, look, nice. Oh, he's a nice one, eh? Not very big one though. Now that's our fishing day, I guess. You're only allowed five. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the neighbor fed if you like that. Oh, he's squeaking at you. Got a bag and go. Yeah, pretty nice. Isn't he? Yeah, beautiful. All right, well that's it for fishing today. I'll let these guys settle down a little bit, and then we'll bag them, and then we'll uh, we'll head her out. Catch you all later. Thanks again for watching. Happy fishing. Man, it's freaking cold out here, eh? Enough of this stuff. <laughs> Let's go home. It's warmer. <laughs>